Hey, hey, happy Saturday. Who is about? So I'm a little bit late, sorry. I was looking for an iPad. We have three iPads in this house and could I find one to do the prize draw on? Eh, eh. So I'm a few minutes late, but I'm here now. So we're going hot tonight. I've not got my box. Let me show you this box. So this came in the post world's hottest curry and i was like whoa okay and then i opened them up and there was three curries inside so i've picked the mildest one of the three and we're going with vindaloo and we're also going to make the barges as well and then i'm just going to serve it with rice or you could do collie rice for your extra speed i will do collie rice if there's any in the freezer but there was one in the not in the supermarket so i need to have a rummage first so i'm going to start with the prize draw hey everybody so if you are tuning in if you hit the share button, just comment shared so that I can find you for the prize draw. <laughs> oh, is Boris talking? Oh no, well, if you've got to watch Boris, then go watch Boris. Or just, just somebody update us in the comments, really. I think we know we're going to get locked in, so let's just roll with it. Um, we're back in control if we're locked in. It's when we're eating out, it's a problem. So um, if you do hit the share button, just comment share like all these awesome ladies have. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Judith. Um, if you're tuning in for the very first time, just comment newbie so we can all say hello and make friends. If you need any help, just... Um, you can message me at the Get Started. And if you want to grab any spices, the link is above in the description. So at the moment, until Sunday, if you shop through my link and use that, net, just put my name in, Donna, you're going to save 20% and you get to pick one of these curries and you get it free. So there you go. If you don't like it hot, maybe give it to a friend. <laughs> right, prize draw. Okay, so on Wednesday, we did cheese topped cumberland pie oh my god i had so many pictures sent to me you love that recipe and we had 349 shares which means there is three prizes in the pot are you ready so one two three hundred and forty nine first one is three two nine got it next one 108. This is why I need to comment shared so that I can find you. And 42. Job done. Okay. Right. I'm going to do the barges first because then we can leave that to one side. Let that all soak. <laughs> leave it to stand for a bit. And then I'm going to start the vindaloo. So if you don't like it hot, then you could pick another curry from um, Spice and Tice. They are, they're all beautiful i really love the bolte um i've never had a vindaloo so let's hope it's not too hot i've got some greek yogurt to put on the top just in case like it's too as andrew would say burning bum <laughs> oh boris isn't on until 6 30 oh i beat boris to it boom there we go i'm more important than boris getting fed and eating is more important than watching boris right so we're going to do the barges first let me turn it round. Here we go. I've got everything out ready. Look, can you see? Can you see? Right. Add more chilies. Oh my God. Hayley likes it hot. Okay. Well, the, Hayley, grab this box. These are, they must be brand new. World's hottest curries. You get all three. So you get, oh God, you know how bad I am at pronouncing people's names. This is going to be even worse. Carolina Reaper curry. Ooh. And, oh gosh, don't even ask me how you say that. Pal, pal, <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Or Vindaloo, in that box you get all three. Right, let's make these barges. First up, one sweet potato. I'm just gonna chop top and bottom off and peel it. Where's my bin bowl? Just there, let me just peel this quickly. I can't see the comments from all the way over here. <laughs> so I'll have to catch up best I can. I am not seeing all the comments. So if you do, like, if you've asked a question and it's not been answered, just message me. It's not me being rude. It's Facebook being an ass. <laughs> and it doesn't let me go through them all. Yesterday, it stopped me even replying to anybody and messaging them. So uh, I'm not being ignorant. It's just Facebook. So I'm just going to peel my sweet potato first. These are so quick and easy, and Andrew says they're better than a takeaway. 
and they're really low sin. So there's nine sins in the whole lot. If you were to like eat every bargy, you're not going to eat every bargy. This is going to make at least six. So I think they work out like one and a half sins each. So I'm just peeling this first. Job done. Then get your grater. Thanks for the shares, everybody. So go on the big one. And then just grate your sweet potato into a bowl. Watch your fingers. Usually when I'm talking to you, I grate my fingers. <laughs> Hi, Jade. How are you? Thanks for the share. Hi, Patricia. You can't beat a hot curry. This is one for you then, Andrea. I do like it hot. So I don't know why I've never had a vindaloo. Maybe it's just the name of it. I'm like, oh my God. It's going to be really, really hot. Where did we go? Oh, we were in Pizza Express and Andrew ordered a calzone and it was a really hot one. <laughs> and he was sat there sweating, eating it. Well, that didn't look, didn't look good fun to me. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Thanks for the share. Let me crack on and rate this. It might be better if you weren't doing it like on a pot. Let me move over here a minute. That's a bit better. Grate it quickly. So it's just one sweet potato. Last time I chopped my onions, but you know what? I'm going to grate them this time because it's a bit quicker, it's a bit easier, and I find it just that it moulds a bit better. Last time, because I didn't chop it finely enough, they didn't um, mould so well. But they're super quick and easy. Oh, who's that? Is Daddy home? Yeah. Oh, Daddy's home. He's been walking. He's probably wet through because it's been pouring oh i can just see have we got any newbies on here any newbies come and say hey i've only just started babe so dinner's not gonna be ready for a bit okay. keep grating till you're done you're gonna have muscles in your arms for doing this you're gonna be getting your um oh gosh what do you call it exercise on swimming world it's gonna clear out of my head well, apart from exercise, body something. Oh, I can't even think what it is. What's wrong with me? Brain's gone. This was quite a large sweet potato. So I've probably got enough there. So that's all we've done. Great it. Super quick, super easy. Don't forget to comment, share if you have shared so I can find you for the prize draw. Now I'm just going to peel the onion so that I can grate it. These cook really quickly as well. 20 minutes, job done. Body magic, that's it. Couldn't think what it was. Oh, my hair, hang on. Hair's getting on my face. What's everybody else got for dinner? Has anybody got any requests or good meals that they've done that I can cook on my live? Send them this way. So I'm just grating my onion. I'm trying not to sniff or look over it. Otherwise, I'm going to be roaring. Body magic. I'm trying to watch my fingers too before I grate them. So we're just going to mix this up and then we're going to leave it to stand. Try not to cry. Somebody in over here. <laughs> I am rubbish at doing onions. That's why I always use frozen. Oh dear. Right, there we go. That's one done. I'm going to do the other one. So you want two onions. So it's one sweet potato. Oh man, I'm crying. One sweet potato, two onions. You can chop them if you want, but I just find grating is easier. Thank you, June. Oh, I'm not going to be able to read the comments soon because I'm crying. Hang on. Abidose is running now. Oh man. Let me grate this next one. <laughs> I'm so useless. <sighs> Look, you can tell it's live. I've got tears streaming down my face. I'll sort myself out in a minute. Boom. I think I'm done. Good Lord, a bit of right mess. Looks like I've been watching a sad movie. Look. <laughs> Onion grated. Job done. Oh. There we go. Let me just sort my face out quickly. Oh, I'm glad I haven't got any makeup on. <laughs> oh dear. 
Right, there we go. All in a bowl. I can just about see the comments now. We are having a good Halloween. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna eat this. We are gonna have a movie. The kids have got some popcorn, all good. 50 grams of flour. This is gonna help bind it all together. Then we need our teaspoon measurers. So cumin, we want one teaspoon of cumin in here. There we go. Let me move that to one side so I know that I've done. Turmeric, couldn't find this last time. So I don't think it's opened, no it's not. One teaspoon of turmeric, going in. Put that to one side. All your spices are free on Slimming World. Just plain flour, Sharon. 50 grams plain flour. I will post the recipe and the pictures later. So if you've not done so already, go to the top of the page. Click follow, see first. You are not going to miss a trick. Um, next up, coriander. Two teaspoons of coriander. These little measurers are fab if you haven't already got them. You can usually... I think I picked these up in Tesco. Um, next up, lemon juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice. You can use chickpea flour. Can you? I've never heard of chickpea flour. This is why I love doing that. Is that free then? I'm going to check it out. One tablespoon of lemon juice. So I've got everything in there. Onion, sweet potato, flour, lemon juice, cumin, turmeric, coriander. Next up, two eggs. So just beat two eggs in a bowl and then chuck it in. Somebody fill me in on chickpea flour. I need to know about this. What is this? Hang on. I've got sweet potato peeling everywhere. Look. Chop me eggs in. Next one. I'm just going to beat these quickly and then sling that in. It's No, it's not free. Is it low ear in sins? I'm going to check it out. I've never heard of it. As soon as I get off here, I'm going to go and check that out. Boom. All in. Everything is in the bowl. Now you've just got to mix it in. I might ask at class. I'll see if anybody else has got like a free or a better alternative to um, using flour in these. Just keep mixing it. I use my hands, get messy. It's used traditionally in barges. I will um, Google it and see if it's low sin, no sin, more sins. We'll have a look. Just give it a real good um, mix up. You don't want um, all the spices in one bit. <laughs> it's not free on Slimming World. Is it lower sin than um, normal flour? Who knows? Does anybody know? I'm going to go do my research, peeps. This is all falling out of the bowl because I'm not looking. There we go. All mixed in. There we go, mixed it in with my hands. Put that all back in there. And I'm just gonna pop that over there and let it sit there for 20 minutes while we do the curry. Right, are we ready, are we ready? Right, first up, I'm gonna chop. I am using lamb because of Andrew. It's four sins for 25 grams. Yeah, that's the same then, isn't it? You can use chicken if you want, okay? But I am using lamb and I'm using lamb steaks. These are from Aldi. Let's get chopping. Hang on. Right. Chop off all your visible fat, even if it's chicken, then it's going to be free. I need to make myself some room here. Making a mess. Hang on. I was trying to stay close to the camera so I could see the comments. 
Andrew's gone straight upstairs <laughs> to sort um, he's carrying on with the um, wardrobes. He's moved the radiator this morning and now he's going to start building some um, wardrobes for the bedroom. Because I told him that I would buy us a nice big bed <laughs> as soon as he's done it. So he's cracking on. Just remember to cut off all your visible fat and then it's going to be free. You're not going to have to sin your meat. I hate fat on meat anyway. Hi Jenny, how are you? There we go. So you're just chopping it into bite-sized chunks before we fry it off. Has everybody had a good um, Saturday? They keep changing the time that Boris is on, don't they? But I think we all know what's coming, so... There we go, we're gonna have to put up with it. Hi Janice, how are you? Just joined, what are we cooking today? We are making a lamb vindaloo and we have just made, well, we've just mixed up the mix for the barges. I'm going to mould them in once I've done the curry. So this is really quick and easy. All of these recipes, uh, anything I cook is quick and easy to be honest with you. Just chop off all your visible fat. This is why I always buy two packs because by the time of lamb, by the time I've chopped off all the fat, <laughs> there's not that much meat left. Right, that's that one. Let me chuck it over there out the way. And then the next one. Cassie's a newbie. Is it Cassie? Casey? Sorry. I'm really rubbish at names. You're going to get to realise that if you stay tuned. <laughs> and it's not personal. I couldn't pronounce the curry either. <laughs> right. Again, just chopping off the fat. I maybe could have done this before I got on. But there we go. Wouldn't it take? It's not going to take that long. And I need the, um, the bargies just to sit for a bit. Thanks, Jill. How are you today? What have you got for tea, Jill? Let me know. Let me know. Did anybody say they've got any good recipes for me? That can come on and do live. I'm down for trying anything. We're going to do some Christmas cooking on the run up to Christmas as well. I think I've got a good pork pie recipe for you guys. Cassie, thank you. It's nothing personal. I just can't do names. <laughs> uh, seriously, do you know what? I've said this a few times now. I think I need some new scissors. Or these ones sharpening. I forget when I get off here. Oh, that bit's fatty. Get that off. Oh, I can't bowl that bit. I do like lamb, it's just very fatty. We eat a lot of lamb because of Andrew. But you can use pork instead, uh, pork, um, chicken, if you would prefer. There we go, right, lamb into bite size. Let's see, look at all that fatty bit. Just gonna wash my hands. Right, so fry like pan peeps. Are you ready? Don't forget to comment if you have shared so I can find you for the prize draw. Are we on? So I'm just going to fry off my um, lamb quickly just to seal it. Stick it in there. Let me get rid of that. That was the hardest bit. Grating the sweet potato and um, chopping up the lamb. The hardest bit. Need another bowl. For when the lamb is done. Hi Susan, thank you for the share, Julie. Is everybody in tonight? Or is anybody making the last... Is it tonight the last night? Or well, maybe some people are already locked down, aren't they? Da, da, da. The 
the barges are just sitting over here fermenting nicely <laughs> so for the barges if you've just tuned in all we have done is grate one sweet potato two onions into a bowl and then we have added 50 grams of flour a tablespoon of lemon juice a teaspoon of cumin a teaspoon of turmeric two teaspoons of coriander and two beaten eggs job done we're going to mold them into balls in a minute and stick them on a baking tray in fact let me turn the oven on because i haven't done it it's on now whilst that's frying off i'll get the onions Clear up a little bit. Hi, Karen, how are you? Thank you, Martin. Like and share. Thank you. So I'm just browning off lamb. In the instructions, so this is what I'm making. It's from Spice and Tice. These come with the shopping list. They've got the instructions on there. So um, the chicken, it said to chuck in at the end, but um, because I'm doing lamb, I want to just seal it first. And I'm gonna cook it for longer as well, so it's not like too chewy. Andrew struggles if it's chewy too. What are the kids having? They're not having vindaloo. <laughs> They're having chicken goujons. And popcorn. <laughs> chicken goujon sandwich. Boom, job done. I don't think I'd give James a vindaloo. Holly will eat an onion bargey. Someone told me I needed to stock up on uh, toilet roll. We will find out tomorrow. <laughs> oh dear. Egg and chips, slimming world style. Yum. Right, lamb is cooked, so I'm just going to tip that in here. Out the way. Right, I'm going to do a little bit more fry light. Just put it down the Then I'm using frozen onions because <laughs> I don't want to cry anymore. I need to go shopping tomorrow and stock up before the um, supermarkets get busy again and everybody's going and doing it i'll just fill the freezer and then i won't need to go out so i've put half the bag in plenty of speed fill it up so we're just going to fry off the onions caramelize them you're sitting in with your 13 year old grandson and your two year old granddaughter yes cozy movie night that's what we will be doing after this we've not picked a movie yet we're gonna have a look on netflix although we have almost watched everything on netflix to do with some new stuff sin free and the barges are going to work out about one and a half sins a barge it depends on how many you make um but there's nine sins in that whole lot there's no way i'm going to eat all of that tesco's is madness already oh seriously oh, man. i hate it i hate it this is why i fill the freezer so i don't have to go back it's just bedlam isn't it oh, man. right Ginger, I am using frozen ginger. These are from Tesco's. It says an inch of ginger. So I'm just gonna whack in a good handful. And then frozen garlic, again. <laughs> Stock up before we get locked in. Three cloves, it says in the recipe. Um, so again, a really good handful. Just gonna fry them off and whack them back in the freezer. I tend to use a little bit more if it's frozen. You can't see the pan look. What use is that? Um, I tend to use a little bit more of the frozen. 
just because I don't find the flavour in as strong. Morrison's had hardly any fruit, fruit and veg at three o'clock. Oh, for goodness sakes. Frozen all the way, peeps. I buy frozen fruit as well. I love frozen cherries. They are amazing. Greek yogurt on. Jobs are good. So all we're doing is frying our onions in here with ginger and garlic. Let me move everything along so I can see what I am doing. Got time to tidy up a bit, look. Here we go. Moving along. Is everybody okay? So has everybody stopped their fridges ready then? Right, next up. Let them caramelize a little bit more. Then we're going to chip some onion, uh, some tomatoes in, and the rest of it. We are almost there. This just needs to simmer. Then, then we're going to finish off the barges. You need to get yourself one of these. Everybody asks me where the pans from. These are wedding present. My pans were um, John Lewis. It is a big pan, and if you burn it, like I have done a bit around the edges, <laughs> it'll just scrub off. Done. Right, I'm using a whole tin of chopped tomatoes. It said to blend them. I'm not blending them, I'm chopping them in. Stick that in there, in my bin. Tomato puree, really cheap from Aldi. One tablespoon. That'll do. One side, give it a stir. Smells good already. Now we're going to add the spices, okay? So we are going with Vindaloo spices today. Do you know if you're a bit unsure and you didn't want to do it too hot, don't put the whole packet in. And then you've got enough for two curries. Or if you're Haley, you're going to have to add like extra hot chilies. Because <laughs> it's not going to be hot enough. So I'm going to start with half the pack. And then if it's, um, if it's not um, too hot, I'll add a little bit more. So half of the pack going in. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready for burning bomb. Right, half the pack's in. We're going with that. I'm going to save that bit. I might make another vindaloo. Stir it in. I'll let you know how hot it is. <laughs> you love a good pan, Lisa. John Lewis. Do you know what I could do with a really good non-stick frying pan? My omelettes never work out. I'm terrible at... Um, Add it all. Hayley, I don't. I don't. It says world's hottest curries. I don't put the whole lot in. I don't do it. Right. Teaspoon of sweetener. So I'm using the um, granulated, low calorie granulated sweetener from Tesco. So it's free. One teaspoon of that going in. It is really light. If you pick this up, and you think, oh my God, it's empty. No, it's just really light. One teaspoon of lemon juice going in. I don't add it all, Hayley, I don't. I'll have a taste of it in a minute, in a bit. And if it's not too hot, I will add some more in. I want to enjoy my dinner. Give it a good stir. Now I'm going to put some um, frozen peppers in as well for extra speed. You know how much I love them. Frozen peppers. 89p from Aldi. I've got a T-fell one, a non -stop. Well, I've got two T-fell ones, uh, three actually, all different sizes. Um, but I still, my omelette's still stuck. I need 
I've seen some good adverts to them, but I've been stung um, by buying something off of Facebook. So it's put me off a little bit. Right, peppers in. Now we're gonna chuck the meat back in. We're gonna give it a really good stir and then we're gonna add 200 mils of water. Put that out of the way. Stir it all in. Smells good, smells good. <laughs> you know me, all about the smells. Now I'm going to get 200 mils. Oh, I've not boiled the kettle, darn it. Hang on. I'm not organised. Just need to boil the kettle. So, the spices, if you are interested, you could go to the link that is in the description. Um, go through all of those. If you don't like it hot, you can get the Baltis um, and any, any of the others. Um, I love loads of them, like they're really good. The Chinese curry is really, really good. So they come, the spices are attached to them. They've got the shopping list and then they have all the instructions on there. I know this looks back to front for you, um, but they're super easy and they taste just like the takeaway. You cannot go wrong. I've just realized I haven't put my white wine vinegar in. <laughs> Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Don't miss it. One, two, job done. Now I've put everything in, because there's nothing left here. <laughs> we're just waiting for the water and we're done. I'm gonna let that simmer. So whilst that's doing, I'm gonna mold my barges and put them in the oven. Can you see the tray? Yeah, just waiting on the water. And then I'm just gonna let that simmer for a while. So you can put your chicken in there, it's gonna be ready in like 20 minutes. Where are they from please? Oh, we're talking about the spices now. My link is above, it's called Spice and Tice. If you use my code, um, my name Donna, in the discount section, you'll get 20% off and until Sunday, you get um, one of the free, um, one of the hot curries free. I think you get to choose one of these free. Three even, and you get one free. Right. Barges. Oh, my water's nearly done. Hang on. Let me get my water in. Let me get it in. Come on, kettle. We'll wait for the kettle. About 200 mils of water. Whack it in. I will let you know how hot it was and if um, I added any more. There we go, it's all in. Give it a good stir. And I am gonna let that simmer for a good 30, 40 minutes. Job done, I'll just keep stirring it. Back to the barges on the tray. So I'm just gonna mold them into Bawly parcel things. Yes, it's all online, Terry. You can go, you click on the link, add what you want to your basket, and then when you go through to the checkout, you just um, put my name where it asks for like your discount code, put Donna, and you're going to save 20%, and then you're going to get your free hot curry as well at the end of the checkout. Oh, these look really good. Really good. Can you see them? Yeah, you can see them. Hi, Caroline. I love a bargey, me. So it's nine cents for the whole lot. So we'll see how many ball, how many barges we make today. But they are amazing. Last time I cooked these, Andrew said they are better than the takeaway. So you're like, can't get better than that, can you? The discount section is right at the end. Right at the very, very end. You add grated carrot, carrot too. Yeah, you can add grated carrots, all extra speed. I've just done onion and sweet potato. But you can do carrot too. There we go. So I have made six. So these work out at one and a half C. 
sins each. Hi Amanda, you're late, don't panic. I'm gonna post the recipe later and the pictures of the food. Here we go. Boom, look at that. Let me just wash my hands. Cause I'm a little bit messy. <laughs> those barges how amazing are they one and a half sins each so you're not gonna eat the whole lot are you whack them in the other oh hang on spray with fry light whack them in the oven 20 minutes they are gonna be done and they taste so so good Right, everybody, I think I am done. I have posted the link. I will post it again later, but it's up in the description. Curry is on, barges are in the oven. That's it, I'm done. Make sure you're following the page so you can see the recipe and the cooked food later. Like, I'm all about how the food looks. Um, so make sure you're following, then you're not gonna miss it. And the link is above, but I will repost the link later when I post the recipe. Curry's bubbling away. Just make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't stick. And that is it. If you've got any questions or you want to get hold of me, just message me at the Get Started. Oh, God. It's the best way to get hold of me. You've just bought two. Boom. Do you want to... Hang, I've got a load. Shall I show you? I've got some more. Let me go through some that I really like. So it's not just curries. What else have we got? So... Nacho style feast is really nice. That was what I mentioned. Chinese chicken curry. That's a really good one. What else? That's another one. Oh, I love these. Oh, another one that I can't pronounce. Gai Yang satay. So, so good. Balti. And like you can, um, if they've got things in that are sins, I just tweak them. So what's in this one? That one's okay. I, don't, I just use them. Um, fry light instead of cooking oil that one's all good there's no sins in any of the spices there is in some of the rubs if they have oils in um oh gel frazy really really good they're quick and easy do you know for a saturday night takeaway or a friday night takeaway um oh i've not tried this one yet sri lankan curry i've not tried that what else have we got in here oh my god bombay potatoes so so good Tikka masala is amazing. Tastes like better than the takeaway and no sins if you tweak what you're putting in it. So the tikka masala said to add single cream. All I did was use fat-free Greek yogurt, whole thing free. Um, they usually work out, um, these ones on the card are usually about 159 each. The ones that are in packets like that, there's a bit more to them. I think they're like 2 59 but they taste just like the takeaway. I think you get a free delivery if it's over a tenner, but you're gonna save 20% if you put um, Donna in the comments and what else? And you're gonna get your free curry if you order between before Sunday. What else have we got? I'm just looking. Oh, sausage and bean. I haven't cooked that in ages. I might do that this week. Sausage and bean, that's nice, quite spicy. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, they've got some vegan ones. Vegan enchiladas there. Beer can chicken. I keep meaning to try this. Still haven't tried it. Turkish Donna kebab. It is the bomb. Whack that in your car. It's so good. The mint sauce that goes over the top. Like, seriously, I could eat a whole chicken doing that. Right, oh, and a Lugobi. So you've got everything you need for a takeaway. And then they do like a barbecue one and a chili rocks. Hayley, this is this this pack is for you, look. Chili rocks. It's for the people that like it hot. <laughs> right, thank you for tuning in. If you do need anything, please message me. I am here to help. Thank you for tuning in. I will post the food and the recipes later. Have a fabulous evening. Love you, bye.